Back with my World Cup, this time FLCL from Team Canada versus Zomok from Team US West. Just looking at the teams real quick, I assume this is a bulky Mega Scissor, most likely with U-turn to get in the Breakers. Uh, breakers are most likely Banta and the Tapu Lele. I'm thinking Isa Zimu who respects Tapu Lele. Then probably a AV Tangros, a Rox Heatran, and a Scarf Landris. Um, potentially a Scarf Stone Edge Landris because he's quite weak to Pinsir and Zomok has used Pinsir in the past. On Zomok's side, Mega Morwell, probably a bulky Tornadus because he has a Bulu that gives opposing Kartana the terrain. Which means if the Torn is bulky, it can check Kartana better. And this Bulu has to be AV in my opinion because that helps him check stuff like Tapu Koko and Ash Greninja. Then a Zygat, which is either gonna be bulky setup or Bandit, we'll have to see that, that helps him check Heatran. Then a Coco that helps him deal with stuff like Pinsir and Halucha, and a Heatran at the end that is most likely gonna be Zomox Rocker. So we see Zygarde versus Heatran lead, FLCL is gonna be forced out here into one of his three Zygarde checks, which is either Landris, Tangrowth or Scizor. If this is Bandit, Zygarde and Zomok has Toxic, I think um, clicking Toxic here is a, poten is a potential um, option. Is an option. Because it catches the incoming Landris or Tangrowth. So let's see if he is Bandit and he goes for Toxic. He goes for Glare, okay. So Glare makes me think that he's most likely a bulky leftovers variant. Probably Glare Coil sub 1000 arrows, something along those lines. Um, so now from FLCL here, um, I would put a double into Heatran because Zomok is either gonna go into Tornadus or he's gonna go into Tapu Bulu. And if you double into Heatran, you cover both of those and you don't risk getting paralyzed because if you stay in and click U turn, you risk getting paralyzed and losing your momentum. But if you double into Heatran, you know he's most likely gonna go to Bulu or the Torn. Then you guaranteed um, get Heatran in on one of those two and you get put in a good spot. But he does just click U-turn and he doesn't get paralyzed, so it works out fine. He does take Rocky Helmet. Uh, Helmet Torn confirms that it's most likely max HP bulky Torn. This usually carries knockoff, Hurricane, Defog, and U-turn. So FLCL can now either go into Heatran or T-Tar. Um, he can go probably Heatran and get up his rocks here. Which um, his two breakers, most likely Banta and Zemov or Specs Lid, appreciate rocks being up. Um, because Heatran can probably force, can definitely force this Tornadus out, keep the rocks up for a bit. And like I said, those breakers appreciate rocks being up. And I don't know if Banta kills Torn with a pursuit because Rocky Hammer Torn runs max HP. So I agree with going Heatran. Uh, Zomok has two options. He can either U-turn out into Zygarde or he can um, knock off the Heatran's leftovers. Like I said, these don't really carry superpower. It's like knock off U-turn, Defog, Hurricane. So I assume we're just gonna see the rocks go up from FLCL and yeah, I think knocking off the lefties, I guess, is a fine play. As he does decide to make that play, rocks go up and now Zomo can U-turn out into Zyga. That's pretty much his only play. Nothing else wants to come in on Heatran. FLCL, if he has um, something like Will-O-Wisp or Toxic, he can potentially click that. But I assume his set is rocks, Magma Storm, Earth Power, Taunt. And I think he's just gonna click Magma Storm. Um, because Magma Storm punishes if the Torn if the Torn stays in and wants to default, Magma Storm punishes that does a lot to the Torn. Might even knock it out. I'm not quite sure about that, depending on the Heatran set. But yeah, um, U-turn into Zygarde has to come out here. That's the only play. If he has Wisp or Toxic, cool tech. But like I said, I think he doesn't have it, and I think he's just gonna Magma Storm, and that should still be able to do some nice chip to the Zygarde. Not too much though, because it's definitely some sort of a bulky Zygarde, most likely a leftovers variant. So the Zyga does come out, let's see if he has a status move or if he's just gonna magma. He does just magma the 17%, so um, Zyga is gonna take some aftermath effect from Magma Storm secondary effect. So now, um, FLCL might just go back into Landris because he doesn't want his other Zyga checks like Scizor or Tangris to get paralyzed. Uh, Zomok is most likely just gonna click 1000 arrows to get some leftovers back on his Zyga because he's trapped in, he's trapped in from Magma Storm which means he could not double there. So he's Thousand Arrows, um, he gets a crit which is a bit annoying for FLCL because FLCL um, probably wants to Mega here and get off a U-turn, that way he can get his Breakers in. Um, so the play for Zomok here is either switch in the Heatran or Torn or click Glare. Um, yeah, FLCL went Scissor there knowing that it can eat up the hit. Not sure. Would I have gone Landris? I think going Landris would have been fine as well. 
but a crit on the lands would have sucked obviously scissor um it's not a mega form and can eat this up super well which means the zygarde we already know it's a bulky zygarde but it means it probably doesn't have attack investment at all which i think is actually um I don't know if that's the standard set, but Subcoil Glare I think doesn't run much attack usually, but this probably doesn't run any attack. So just go for Glare, trying to get some hacks there. FLC gets the U-turn into Lele, knowing that Lele outspeeds the Zygarde because it's a bulky Zygarde. And now Zomak is gonna have to go into either Tapu Bulu or Heatran here. And we're gonna have to see we're gonna see now from the damage that Lele does if it's um Z-move or if it's specs Lele. So Bulus comes out, uh, most likely AV, and that Psychic does a million, okay, so that's definitely choice specs Lele, that is 42 to 80 Bulu. This Bulu has to be AV because it says Ashkun and Coco check, I already talked about it, I think, a team preview. So now, um, Evelsiel is gonna either go Heatran, Scissor, or Tangrowth. Um, so we could see a Nature's Madness from Zomok, or we could see a double. Um, FLCL goes Heatran, Zomok doubles into Heatran. So Zomok predicted FLCL to go into either Scissor or Tangrowth there. Because Grassy Terrain was up, which means Heatran would have been able to um, eat up Earthquake from Tangrowth and obviously also beats um, Scissor. Yeah, he didn't want um, FLCL to go Scissor and then get a free U-turn to get his Breaker in again or the, to get a free Roost. So um, if I'm FLCL here, I would probably just go Landris because you don't want to lose your Heatran. If you're Zomok, I'm not sure what I would do. You either go, um, I guess he could go Zygarde, but if FLCL goes Landris and Zomok goes Zygarde, it kind of puts him in a bad spot. Okay, so Zomok does just Earth Power. Um, knowing that he knows his own Heatran spread, obviously, which means he knows that he could live Earth Power from the opposing trend, so he was willing to um, give up health on Heatran to Earth Power the opposing Heatran. Okay, I see. Because the opposing Heatran is um, the Rocker, and if that goes down, the Torn can defog and keep off the rocks forever. So I, I can uh, somewhat understand that play. So we're going to most likely see a U-turn from FLCL. Um, Zomok play is most likely Tapu... Not Tapu Bulu. Um, Tornadus is most likely to play. Because Tapu Bulu is already chipped from the rocks, plus from the Psychic from the Lily. So you can't really switch that in here. I think it makes sense to um, to just go Tornadus. If you get a para here, this works out perfectly for you. If FLCL doesn't double, yeah, this works out for Zomak. He does get the para, and now he can defog the rocks away. FLCL can... If he has Stone Edge on this, he can go for that. I don't know if Stone Edge would kill a max HP Torn from this range. It might, it might, because it just took rocks. But hitting a edge through para is not that easy. Um, so Zomok does U-turn, okay, Zomok U-turns instead of defogging, maybe fearing um, the banter, like, the thing is, FLCL, if he U-turns here, he gets a slow U-turn, so I think FLCL's play there, FLCL's play there was definitely correct, because, um, just in case Zomok wants to U-turn to get momentum on FLCL switch, in case um, he thinks FLCL wants to switch out to not risk getting paralyzed that works out perfectly for FLCL because Zomok did predict him to switch and U-turn but he got the slow U-turn and now he can go into his Tangrowth um, Tita is an option but I think Tangrowth is most likely going to come out here for FLCL and this Coco uh, it's either Sugar or Zemo uh, yeah one of the two yeah so he didn't defog there because FLCL could have gone into Heatran he would have gotten grassy terrain back and then he could have just reset up the rocks if the torn goes for defog and the torn can't touch the trend so i understand where zomok is coming from he just u-turn banking on flcl switching out is how i see it um we're gonna most likely see the tornadoes come out i assume the tangles is gonna click knock off here or hp ice because those are like the only two things that it can do to hit the torn if he does knock off he's gonna be able to get rid of the rocky helmet and now it's between u-turn and defog um, I think eventually he's gonna have to click defog. Heatron comes out. Yeah, this is what I talked about earlier, um, which is why I understand why Zomok U turned earlier instead of defogging because Heatron comes out on Torn and just gets the rocks back up anyway. So it does make sense to me. So yeah, rocks just go back up, Zygarde comes out. Um, now, FLCL has a lot of checks to the Zygarde, so Zomok might want to pull a double here. Um, Lando. Scissor or Tangrowth coming out. Let me think. What would be a good double for those three? 
Potentially double into Heatran, potentially double into Morwell maybe. Hmm. It's hard because Everseal has so many Zyga checks. Because if you double into Heatran and he goes Landris, that doesn't work out for you that well. So he doubles into Morwell. Well, Everseal goes Lily, okay. I didn't think he would go Tapu Lele, but the reason why he went Lele there is because Lele offers a lot of offensive presence uh, because it's choice specs. And Zomox Morwell play did cover the Lele, and if he has Fire Fang, this also covered the Scizor. And now FLC has forced out into Landris or Heatran. So I assume we see either Knockoff or Thunder Punch here. Thunder Punch, yeah, because he does have a Coco on his team. Um, Electric Trend, T-Punch, Mowal uh, with Coco. I've seen that before. Definitely a cool thingy. <laughs> Why did I say that's so weird? Definitely a cool little core. And now, obviously, Hedron forces out the Mowal. Um, so Zygarde has to come out here. So FLCL can either just get some chip on the Zygarde or he can pull a double. Uh, I think pulling a double might be the better play. How do you how do you pressure offensively? You can double into Lele, I guess. So he does pull a double into double Lele, anticipating Zyre. Hard play on FLCL's part. I love this game. First Zomok um, with some double into Morwell that let him weaken the opposing trend. Now FLCL with double back into Lele, and he just gets to click Psychic here. Zomok has no Dark type. Um, that's a problem with the with balanced teams that don't have a dark type, if you face a spec slay, it just gets to click psychic. That does so much to heat trend, making me think that it's maybe not max HP trend, maybe just max speed, max special attack trend. So he's gonna have to pick uh, his fodder here. He's either gonna have to sack heat trend or Bulu. He decides to go Bulu, which is gonna go down to the next psychic. Uh, oh, it, it lives it. Okay, so psychic was a roll, but Lily is just gonna click it again, pick off the Bulu, and now Zomok can go into more while or yeah, yeah he does go more while. And now FLCL has to go either Lando or Tren. Um, so I assume we see either a play rough or a knockoff here from Zomok. Well, he did show Thunder Punch earlier, so pr he's probably Thunder Punch, SD, play rough, and Sucker Punch. He probably doesn't have knockoff. So I would probably click play rough because the Heatron has already weakened. But the Landris um, could come out on the Thunder Punch, so you don't want to... Um, okay, so he goes for player off, expecting the Lando makes the correct play, but he misses. Uh, annoying miss that I would have done a lot to the Lando, like 55 or something, or 60, I don't know, like head calking kind of. So I assume we see a U-turn here from FLCL, knowing that Zomok most likely doesn't want to stay in with the um, Morwile, because the Morwile is one of the ones that can check the Tabu Lele, and also the Tornadus lost its Rocky Helmet. So now um, Zomok is most likely going to defog here, anticipating the Tita either to crunch or pursuit. Um, because he might have been able to live a pursuit. But yeah, as FLCL just clicks crunch. Um, he's going to crunch again, be a sack off his Tita to the Morwell. Gets a crit, um, which puts this Morwell now guaranteed in range from Lele's Psychic. So Lele can just come out and click Psychic. Not sure if it would have been in range without the crit, but it probably would have been in range anyway. Just because... Specs Tabulele is so strong and Morwell doesn't have the best spadef. So I assume um, some yeah, he just sacks off the Morwell here. The Zygarde, my bad guys. <laughs> he sacks off the Zygarde here, he can go now go into his Tapu Coco, I think. And FLCL definitely wants to preserve the Lele because it gets a kill whenever it comes in on the I think you just go into Tangrowth here. Like Thingy, Lele gets a kill whenever it comes in on Heatran or Mowal, is what I'm trying to say. So Heatran does come out now. Uh, Magma Storm probably... I don't think Magma Storm kills from here. But you don't want to risk getting crit because this Tangrowth is important for FLCL. So maybe... He's gonna... He can sack off either his um, Heatran or his Lander is one of the two. I just got shook a bit because I saw a spider in my room walking, some just disgusting green spider. Super big spider, grimy. But yeah, um, FLCL decides to sack off his Heatran, and there was either a tie or FLCL's trend wasn't max speed. And now he can go back into his Tapu Lele and just click Psychic twice. He goes into Tangros instead. Now, Zomok can potentially crit a Magma Storm and Oko the Tangros, um, but he needs to crit it because otherwise Tangros eats up the Magma Storm and kills the Heatran. 
Um, so I think going Lele would have been the better play. So he does get crit, but he lives it. So I assume that crit was a roll to kill the Tangrowth. So Zongo did get the crit that he needed, um, but he didn't get the roll. Um, but FLCL should have just gone to Lele because his Lele was still at 94% or something like that, I think. And would have been able to live Magnus Storm with ease. Um, Psychic, Psychic also, I think, would have... I don't remember how healthy Heatran was, but Psychic does like 47 or something to Tren. So it either killed or it 2 it KO'd the Tren and Lele lived any hit. I'm pretty sure Lele would have lived them. Lele might have lived the Magma Crit. I'm gonna calc it after the game to make sure. But yeah, now um, he obviously has to switch out here to get Regenerator um, into either Landris or Lele. Yeah, yeah, Land yeah, Land was the correct player. Yeah. Um, Lele can still get a kill when it comes down more well. So now Zomok uh, is just going to click player off as Landorus gets paralyzed there and this time he hits his player off. So that makes up it makes up a little bit for the player off miss earlier. So Lele can just click Psychic pick off the Mawile. Tapu Koko can come out here. Um, the only way the Koko can Oko the Lele is um, either with a crit or if it's Z-Move. I guess Z-Move can kill it probably. Um, we, I don't know if it's Z-Wild Charge or Z-T-Ball though. He does go for Z-Move and it's um, Gigavolt. Yeah, I don't know if it's... I didn't cut this U-turns on the Tangros. The U-turns on the Tangros did quite a bit, so I'm not sure if this is Z-Wild Charge or Z-T-Bolt. Maybe we'll get to see that. So now, um, FLCL can go into Tangros and then go back into Scizor to get Regenerator on his Tangros. And then he can spam Bullet Punch with his Scizor. And Zomok's only way of winning at this point is, um... If he's wild charge, he can't win. He has to be t bold and he has to para full para the Tangros, I think, a few times. Or, he, yeah, so yeah, something like that. He needs Hex to win at this point. But this this game was definitely enjoyable to watch. I mean, definitely a little bit more interesting than the last game. I mean, the last game was fun as well, but I think this one was a little bit higher quality. Um, there were a few, well, maybe one little misplay. Um, but like nothing crazy. It was a cool game. So he goes Tangros. And I assume he's just gonna go Scissor to get the rege region on the Tang. I don't remember how healthy Scissor is. Yeah, Scissor should be able to live any hit. So he, he does show T-Bolt. So I assume FLCI is gonna spam Bullet Punch now. Um, Zomok has to hope for the para doesn't get the para, but he can roost. So um, Zomok is either gonna roost or just T-Bolt. He just T-Bolt's okay. So his only way of winning now is powerful powering the Tangros because FLCL is just gonna click um, off quick with the Tangros here and it should be able to do like 60% to the Coco so off quick easily to it kills the Coco Coco goes for U-turn I guess U-turn crit into U-turn crit might have been able to do it but I think t ball is what he should be clicking to get the para because I think that's a little bit of a higher chance than critting because critting is only 4 point something percent they didn't nerf crits so Tangros is, is going to click off quick again here and unless Zomo gets some crazy hacks, FLCL is going to take this game for Team Canada. I was I forgot which Kalk I wanted to run. I wanted to run some Kalk. So he does roost up. Um, off quick gets a crit and just picks up the Tapu Koko. Um, obviously it didn't matter there. Well, it would not have killed the Koko, but Zomo still needed, needed big hacks. Um, t bolt powerful para to somehow win that. But yeah, let me pause real quick, pull up the Kalk. Okay, the calc that I was gonna run is the Lele versus Heatran scenario. So the Heatran was at 59%, and then FLTL decided to go out into Tangros instead of Lele. And Lele would have been able to do this, and yeah, so like Psychic would not have killed the Tran, but it would have brought it super low. And even if Magma Storm would have crit the Lele, I think the Lele was at 94, it would not have killed. Um, so he needed like he needed a crit high roll. Oh, well, Magma Storm, as you can see here, that's a crit that I calc. He needs a crit and then a if he gets a 77 roll, then it, with the aft, with the secondary effect, that might not even kill the Lily. Um, and even if that Lily goes down, um, then the Hedron is probably in range from Bullet Punch. Did it have lefties, the Tran? Or did it get knocked? Well, it would have been super low, so it might have been in range from Bullet Punch. I think this gives him higher odds going um, Tapu Lily and clicking Psychic when the Hedron was at 59%. Gave him a little bit higher odds than going Tangros, but I think he still played it fine. I don't want to. I don't want to criticize. Um, FLCL uh, definitely has 
had some success in tours. Um, I know he's like a Don in lower, some lower tier as well. I don't remember if it was NU. I'm not sure which lower tier it was. But he did make um, S2 finals and he also made um, S2 quarterfinals, I think, this year. Like last year he made finals and I think this year he lost in quarterfinals. Still gonna bring you guys that series. I have a lot more S tours uh, sets recorded. Uh, but for now, I will focus on World Cup. Just let me know in the comments if there's if I ever feel like um, putting something up, and that day is, there's no World Cup match. What would you want to see? Would you want to see a live or would you want to see a mock tours playoffs series or would you want to see OST round eight or would you want to see World Cup qualifying games? I mean, this is World Cup round one, but I have some World Cup qualifying games as well. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Props to uh, Zomog and FLCL. It was a fun game to watch. And peace out, friends.